Hi class, we have discussed the cyclic quad in the previous lesson. You should be able to identify what a cyclic quad is and also two properties of the cyclic quad. And they are, the first one, opposite angles add up to 180 degrees and the second one, exterior angle, is the same as the inner opposite angle. So now that you have learned about the cyclic quad, uh, you should move on to the video that will be played next and please try to answer all the questions in the video. Enjoy! So I'm now going to demonstrate a, uh, a more complicated topic um, which is uh, circle theorems in shapes and uh, the lesson is the, uh, the cyclic quadrilateral rule. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play now. And um, because Prodigy is adaptive, it knows that I haven't played this lesson before. And so it's starting me off with easy questions. So um, here is, um, here is uh, a simple one, uh, just about triangles. And this is a, a prerequisite topic that builds into the cyclic quadrilaterals rule. So um, here we are at the diagram X. X equals uh, uh, 100, uh, Z equals 20, so we know that uh, uh, a triangle has 180 degrees, therefore that must be 60. And here it's asking us if um, x plus y um, equals uh, 180 degrees. And, um, and here, uh, this is a, a new, a new uh, concept for me, so I don't, uh, I'm going to ask for a hint about this. And it's telling us that x and y are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. The hint is specific to the question, um, but actually, I'm I'm still kind of uh, I'm still kind of confused, um, and uh, and so I'm going to ask for a solution on this. So here it's telling us, okay, that it is a cyclic quadrilateral. The angles are opposite, therefore x and y equals 180. So uh, okay. That's told us. Okay, now we can, we've gained knowledge. Let's go ahead and try and, uh, and try and use that knowledge. Next question asks us uh, that, and we just found out that that is false. And um, here's another one. X four size. Uh, they must be uh, 180 minus four, so I think that's 120. And again, we just learned that earlier, so I think uh, that's definitely true. So, um, because we answered three questions in a row uh, uh, correctly, Prodigy has upgraded us to medium level, and it's given us a new uh, a new shape here. And it said uh, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now there's no circle, um, uh, but I can see that these opposite angles don't add up to 180, so it's it's uh, clearly false. And here, uh, the shape is a, is it a quadrilateral. Well, all of the angles are um, touching uh, touching the side. Uh, but does that mean uh, it's a cyclic quadrilateral? Um, I don't know actually, so maybe I just asked for a hint. Inside a circle, all four corners touching the edge. Well, I think that is certainly true, isn't it? So, uh, yes. Uh, so with at least one corner. That's false. I, can, I know we just looked at that. So now we've got, with a little bit of help from Prodigy, we have upgraded to hard. We got three questions right, and now we're in hard. So in the sixth, so y equals 70, and z equals uh, 25. Uh, what's the size of angle x? Um, well... I actually have no idea, so I'm just going to press solve here. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, add up to one angle. Equals uh, 185. So ABC is a cyclic quadrilateral. So that was given. Um, okay, I think that's helped us. So the angle is, is 75. Okay, so that, oh, no, I know that. That has to be 180 minus 75. So we did quite well here. We started off in easy. We didn't really know very much about cyclic quadrilaterals. We asked for a couple of hints um, just over here. And, uh, and then we, we, um, we had to ask for a solution up here because it got really tricky. But we still ended up on hard. And we made a score of 4479. So um, if we uh, 
now choose another activity, we can see that um, that we passed because we learned the, the very basics, um, even though we've only played once. And uh, but we might go back and play that again because there was clearly more there. And that's the end of this lesson. <laughs>